Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Professor Kaki Tui at uh, UCLA Center for East West Medicine. And what I'm going to talk about today is our person center problem solving approach to patients with chronic pain and related problems. So we all know that you know, chronic pain conditions accounts for more disability than many of the leading medical conditions. And low back pain, neck pain, osteoarthritis, migraine. Uh, so many of the patients that come to see us have those conditions. Now I'm gonna share with you what we have created at uh, the Center for East West Medicine at UCLA over the last 30 years, but it really uh, is a product that uh, started when I was a young medical student uh, trying to blend the best of Chinese and Western medicine. So today I was only able to talk a little bit about our clinical program. Uh, if you would like to learn more about what we do at UCLA, you can go to our center's website that I share with you later on. So we care for many patients who have exhausted conventional treatments, uh, they fail or are intolerant of medications and surgery. They would come to us uh, to see what we can do to help reverse their pain, uh, not just to manage their pain. Uh, we have four clinic sites and we have an inpatient program. Uh, we are referred by more than 500 uh, specialists and subspecialists within UCLA and affiliated hospitals. We also have an educational program that uh, kind of a share with uh, any type of trainee and even layman about how this model may uh, be able to help them. So integrated medicine uh, is uh, defined as a person-centered uh, care using a holistic model and uh, try to leverage the body's ability to heal itself through self-care. And emphasis uh, is on prevention and wellness. And in our clinic, we basically blend the best of Chinese medicine with biomedicine and using the whole person's approach and really focus on the important role of the soft tissues in health and disease. Now, for more than 20, 30 years, I already uh, emphasized the importance of incorporating traditional Chinese medicine concepts and tools in improving the care of our patients. And I shared in a WHO paper that I wrote uh, about 23, four years ago. And now more and more people recognize the importance of uh, the whole person approach all the way uh, to the NIH at the National Center of Complementary Integrative Health. And also even the leading of physicians at Harvard uh, Medical School talking about the importance of putting the patients together. And uh, so, so what is this whole uh, health uh, approach? And this is well summarized recently by uh, a publication uh, summarizing the uh, Department of Defense and the VA approach uh, to patients who really would like to have a whole health care. Now I would talk to you about our approach at UCLA, Center for East West Medicine. Many of the patients who refer to us are followed by many physicians of different specialties and subspecialties and many conditions uh, that uh, include pain in the head, in the neck, in the back, in the gut. And, uh, but our approach can allow patients uh, not only to have a better way to manage the pain or to prevent the pain, but also as using this model when they get better, many of the other conditions also require less uh, medications to uh, treat them. So the most important thing is to make sure that the patient is adequate evaluation by the very best of our medical uh, approach uh, in working up the problems and also to treat. 
but we emphasize the importance of childhood experiences because many of the patients who come to us, they have adverse childhood experiences, a trauma that uh, actually may cause uh, many of the subsequent problems in the person's life uh, uh, trajectory. And their work uh, and uh, how they handle stress, these are all very important factors uh, in addition to uh, uh, how they eat, how they sleep, how they exercise, and many, many other you know, factors. Uh, in the clinic, we you know, examine the patient very carefully. We look at their tongue. We also look at the soft tissue in terms of the acupoints points and the trigger points. So besides the whole person assessment from both East and West, we uh, discuss uh, the plan of approaching, uh, helping the patients in collaboration to solve their problem. We discuss how long it takes for people would get better because many patients come to us with even 20, 30, 40 years of problem. And it would take a long time to rebuild the broken infrastructure of the person that lead to many of the problems, including chronic pain and emotional uh, issues and so on and so forth. So uh, we do a lot of uh, counseling and, and uh, coaching because we recognize the importance of self-care, uh, including watching patients' posture. And also we refer patients you know, to other specialists and subspecialists uh, to including PT, OT, uh, counseling, and uh, uh, Tai Chi, Qigong instructors as well. But in the clinic, we would do acupuncture, acupuncture like stimulation. We would do myofascial release, including cupping. We also work with the patient's uh, medication regimen. And then we also do trigger point uh, injections with 1% lidocaine. That's sort of uh, a quick summary of uh, how we approach a patient and what we actually do. And these are some of the references that uh, would be useful for you. If you want to learn more about our approach, uh, you can uh, scan uh, the QR code and then uh, it may link you to actually a, uh, a more detailed discussion of our model. Uh, one of the sessions in our conference uh, last February. Thank you so much.